Hi, I'm Reese Millen. Welcome to RMI. Let's go for a tour through the shop. For this year, we're going to go after the overall hill climb record at Pikes Peak. I have raced the event since 1992, and I've always had a dream to go after the overall record in the unlimited division. Unlike any other category of racing or sanctioning body rule system, uh, you have freedom of design, freedom of expression, and with the creative crew that I have, we're able to put pen to paper and welder to metal and, and create some amazing pieces that we've implemented into this design in the RMR PM580, which we're dubbing as our kind of our LMP1 or Le Mans style car that is totally out of its element as far as looks, but very much so in its element as far as design. Some of the unique features that we've built into this design, uh, we do have an active center differential, meaning that as a driver on the fly, I can change the torque split from 100% rear drive to 50-50 front drive rear drive. Over and above that feature, we've actually incorporated a active rear wing that is a dual element wing. It has an active rear element that can transition from 50 degrees to 10 degrees. It has a wheel speed input, it has a yaw sensor and a G sensor input. So the wing will constantly be moving by itself based on the vehicle's direction and speed. You know, when you look to build a car as a four wheel drive vehicle at this scale, as light as you can, some of the most important features are unsprung weight, rotational weight. Um, nearly every bolt on this car is going to be titanium. The brakes are provided by Brembo and they are carbon-carbon brakes, very similar to what they run on the open wheel cars. And then designing the best handling package, again, you want a very lightweight wheel. We're using HRE wheels in this case, and they also have titanium hardware all the way around the outside of them. Uh, they're shod in the new Toyo tires, the R1R, that we actually use for the drift racing. And that combination of wheel and tire package against our competitors is some 25 to 30 pounds lighter. That's unsprung weight, that's rotating mass. You want those pieces of the car to be as light as possible. For 2009, we teamed up with Hyundai and it was the second showing for the Hyundai Genesis Coupe at SEMA. We wanted to kind of come back to the elegant lines that the Hyundai Genesis Coupe offers and really showcase the car for what it is. We figured out that we could actually put a firewall in behind the front seats, still have more than stock leg room with the factory seat position, and fit the Hyundai Genesis sedan 4.6 liter V8 in the back seat mounted to a six-speed sequential transaxle. You know, for me personally, the reward of the driving is sometimes second to the reward of developing the car and designing the car. I don't draw a picture and hang it on the wall. I create a car and drive it down the street.